it's on? I don't know, is it? It's real. Does it feel like it's on? It looks like it's on. Dinner. Dinner. I need dinner. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to a local reservoir, um, going fishing, obviously, and uh, Adam's gonna meet me there. The goal today is basically we are going to catch one of every species that we can there. There are big old bluegills, there's a few different types of trout, or does it count trout as like one species? And then um, there's crawfish and frogs. So we're gonna hope we can find some good sized bullfrogs. Hopefully we'll be able to get everything. That's the goal, catch as many of those as we can and then bring them back and we're gonna, we're gonna clean and cook them. So uh, I'm gonna head to Cabela's to see if I can get some stuff to help us catch the frogs and the crawfish. And then I'm gonna head to the reservoir. All right, so they didn't have any crawfish traps and that's really what I was mainly going for. Um, so I'll have to get a little creative with that. I also don't know exactly how we're going to catch these frogs. I have a good long net and hopefully that will be enough to be able to catch them. If not, and the bullfrogs are big enough, uh, I'll probably actually throw a topwater frog lure and they'll try to eat those. So I, I think I've got a good method for catching everything today, but I'm headed to the reservoir now. Uh, Adam's probably going to beat me there. And then uh, we're going to get started on our species checklist. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a second. All right, so I got little Hiram here. And Adam's is, this is uh, Adam's son. And uh, he's going to help us catch some frogs, right? You're going to catch some big old bullfrogs, is that correct? It's a little, well, I say a little, it's pretty overcast this evening, uh, which I think will help us in some ways and hurt us in some ways. This is one of my favorite parts about this spot is it's it's quiet. yeah very quiet this is the slowest spot and this summer everybody's outside so it's really hard to find a place where people don't fish and there's it one guy on this whole thing now again i don't know how the sun oh there's one just dipped look at those tadpoles there's a ton of them look at all those tadpoles they're like like golf balls and Wait, up to rock. Rock right see that tadpole i bet you i could catch him with his net right here Fat they are. Those are those are bullfrog tadpoles, I believe. Yeah. Nope. nope, missed him. Wasn't quick enough. There's definitely plenty of tadpoles. I don't know where the big frogs are at. Yeah, you got to move real slow because these frogs spook pretty easy. But you'll actually see them. They'll sit in the water like 10 yards out and just stare at you, like a like a little alligator. And I've got the first catch of the day over there, little green sunfish. So that's the start, but it's definitely not big enough to keep. We're looking for the chunks. We want a good little fillet that all of us can try. I'm uh, about to set up my trout magnet here. Toss that out there. I can see some decent sized ones. No, no huge guys, but I think over there where those trees are in the water is actually where we're going to get the best luck on those things. Looks like it might be a hybrid, actually. He's a chunky guy. Can we put it more higher just in case if it escapes and probably will go down? I didn't realize I had this guy on. The wind was fighting harder than he was. Got another bluegill. Not too big. I, I want a chunkier one than this if we're going to eat him. That looks like it's showering. I don't think it's raining. Oh, actually, you know what? Like I said it might sprinkle. Well, just hike back up that spot again. Adam's piecing out. We got rained out, like as soon as we started. Um, <laughs> we showed up, cloud cover came in, a little bit of wind, started raining and now we got thunder, so we had to dip. Fishing in a thunderstorm is not like the greatest idea. So um, me and Adam are gonna meet back up probably tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Let's see how murky the water is after that storm. No tadpoles this time. Aww. Really not a lot of fish either. Yeah. Wonder where they're at. Yeah, remember how many bluegill were right here? Yep. Not a single one. Where do you think they're at, huh? Mm. 
Guess we gotta find them. Well, finally got our first catch of the day. A little tiny green sunfish. Unfortunately, well, I mean, you could eat him. What you do with this guy is you wouldn't fillet him. You'd just gut him, bread him, and bake him. Or uh, fry him, not bake him. But yeah, pretty little fish. Look at that arm. What do you think about that? Look at those colors. See that blue? It's all lightning y looking. I wish I could touch it. You can touch him. Slimy. Yeah, those fish are slimy. At least we got the skunk out of the way. Oh, there you go, dude. And uh, we're ready to catch something bigger. So normally this spot's great for catching the bluegill, but after the storm, it looks like they've all moved somewhere else. So we're that? going to try a different location. We're going to go. Three step. And we're going to go over where I was catching trout last time I was here. I'm getting some decent bites right here by this tree. Always the fishing slow, but there's our second little green sunfish. What is that? What's yeah. that thing? That's a little bluegill. Maybe. That looks like it might be a hybrid, actually. I'm not really sure. Well, that's probably the biggest so far. Green sunfish again. A little chunkier. That's just a little smaller than I think the smallest we'd keep, though. So, a keeper? <laughs> no. Almost a keeper. We're not looking for a lot of food. We're just looking for some food. Just like it. There you go. Decent bite. Oh, underneath. All right. Two in a row. That one's even bigger. even bigger. Another green sunfish. All right. Bigger every time. I'd say about 10 more and we got an eater. <laughs> There he is, a little sunfish. Well, at least we're catching something. But uh, the goal today is food. I think we picked a bad day to do that multi-species challenge, but <sighs> well, let's just make it a simple catch clean cook, huh? Well, it has been so long since I've gotten an actual bite that I totally forgot to record when I finally got a good one. And it's a rainbow. All right, boys, we're on the board for dinner. dinner. At least one species to eat. Oh, pff. Sp splashed myself. Right there. Yes, yeah, right there. <laughs> Panicked a little bit. Oh. Go. Wait, go, go, go. are you going to do it, dude? Pull. All right, now start Reel. reeling. It's on? I don't know, is it? Reel. Does it feel like it's on? It looks like it's on. Dinner. Dinner. I need dinner. <laughs> oh, my. This thing's still fighting. Heck, yeah, it is. Bring it in, bud. Oh, another trout. All right, leave it in the water. Is it bigger than yours? No. Mm, it's about the same size. Could be a little bigger, actually. All right. Fish. Well, That's not the first fish. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> uh, when was the last time that you saw me catch fish? I have pictures of you catching fish. Oh, wow. All right, Hiram. Here's here's the thing. You caught him. You get to pick. Do we keep him, or do we let him go? Dinner. All right. <laughs> Nice and green and pink and rainbowy. All right, well that's two trout. Time to get something like that. Is that delicious, right? It's time Heck yeah, it does. Dad to, to get one. Yeah. Working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Oh, what? A good size. Oh, that is, that's an eating bluegill. Put it back in front of him. <laughs> I didn't. Oh. Did I, oh, I did get it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It could be a multi-species day. Do you want to? Do you want to put in the effort to that eat this guy? Here. I know. The big guys came out to play right at the end. I mean, that's that's a good size right there. Size we were catching. Well, not as fat as yesterday. Can we keep it? I mean, like. Well, Adam caught it, so I'm gonna leave it up to him. Uh. Well, 
We were unsuccessful at catching multiple species, probably because of the storm last night. We, uh, we got there yesterday. There were tadpoles and crawfish and frogs and bluegill all along the side, uh, which were, you know, three fourths of what we were trying to catch. And uh, when we got there today, they just, we just didn't see any of them. Luckily, I knew where the trout were out in the deep water and uh, we were able to catch a couple of those decent rainbows but it's late because we were really trying. So uh, I'm gonna throw those guys in the freezer and uh, I might have them for lunch tomorrow. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so we're gonna prep and cook one today. Before we get started, I'm going to preheat our oven to 420 because, you know, I think for, I think it was like 425 was the temperature. We're gonna do 420. You're gonna take your knife, go right above the head behind the gill plates, and cut at an angle downward. I think it always helps to have a sharp knife. That was a little rough of an angle. I'm gonna go right to the fins on either side. And I'm actually going to do a little trick. I'm gonna grab the head, I'm gonna pull down, and all of the guts should come with it. That one doesn't want to do it. There's the head and most of the guts. Got a bag here for those. Go right there. Cut across. There's a little bit more guts still left in there. Just pull those out. Then that's actually, I've learned, that's the kidney. People call it a bloodline. But lately I've been watching some other videos and they've been calling it the kidney. So we're gonna clean that out. I'll just score it real quick and I'll just use my thumbnail in the sink and get that out. I've heard you can use a spoon and that'll work pretty well too. Uh, meat is a little pink, not super great because this is a smaller stocked fish just kind of how it goes the better the diet the darker the meat i'm gonna cut off these pectoral fins here got some redness in the meat there i'm gonna cut that off with some of those bones there so we've got a cleaned nice piece of trout right here what we're going to do next is prep it to cook so last time I did this, we tried the uh, frying pan method. Today is the oven method. This is the way that I actually normally do it. Um, it's pretty easy, super simple, and makes a good fish. I'll turn it this way so you can kind of see how I end up prepping this. Uh, what we're gonna do is we've got sea salt, dill, parsley, lemon pepper, lemon, and some butter and some more and then uh, we put it on some tin foil and I'm just gonna season it real good I like lots of flavor my wife likes to say she doesn't like a lot of seasoning but I like a ton of seasoning and I do leave the skin on that's that's one thing that some people are uh, not always sure about with trout uh, like as you can see the scales are really soft and really small so you don't have to get those off and the skin adds some flavor it's got some fats in it that you want to leave on there so and then we're gonna cut up a lemon use my other knife for it I'm gonna save that for after to squeeze onto it and then this one I'm gonna cut up in two thin slices You got a sticker on that one. Oh, the sticker adds flavor. You should always leave your stickers in your lemons. Always. Lots of lemon. And then the last thing is going to be some butter. Some good old, good old butter. I'm gonna use plenty. You can never have too much butter. That's a lot of butter though. <laughs> I, didn't, 
This trout's pretty little compared to the last couple I've cleaned. Last trout I cleaned was that video before this one, that big old trout, so I'm used to needing to prep a lot. Actually, okay, about half the amount of butter. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna put all the butter in there. Because like I said, you can't have too much butter. Okay, and then I like to wrap it nice and tight. There we go. Oh, we didn't add any oil. It's a little drizzle of oil. Probably should have done that like first so that the you seasoning... Poke a hole. Oh, what the freak? This is new. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should have done this first so that the seasoning sticks better, but... All right, now we're gonna fold it in. And tight just like that. We're gonna plop it in the oven. Should I put it on the lower? Yeah, I'll put it on the lower. We'll leave that in there for like 12 minutes and that should be plenty for that little trout. Um, see you in 12 minutes. The, the uh, easiest way to tell right away is that the skin comes off of the meat pretty easily. Just kind of, just a little pressure. And then the meat should fall off the bone. And that's, I mean, that's just flaking right off. That looks, yeah, that's definitely done. So let's move it to the plate over here. And then normally when I'm eating fish like this, a lot of the time I like to have some sort of starch. So like rice or potatoes. Uh, normally I'd make like, we, we probably my wife would make some mashed potatoes or uh, some french fries or something. Today, I got potato chips. That's the level of effort we're putting into this. But, um, yeah, let's let's give this a try. Oh, look at that. I got that piece. You see that? I just fell off that rib cage right there. Just came right off. Got a little teeny bit of lemon on there. I think there's still little teeny pin bones. It's the one downside to trout. It's all those little pin bones. All right, let's see. Mm. Yeah. It's great every single time. Oh, yeah, I seasoned that really well. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so, so even these little stock trout, man, you cook them right, you get plenty of lemon on there, and man, that's really good. You want to try some? She doesn't want any today. If you can get me a piece with no bones. That doesn't have bones right here? It, it's just sliding right off. Do you want that little piece right there? Okay. What do you think? That's good, huh? That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. Oh right. no, I want another bite. Okay, well then she's gonna put down the camera and we're gonna share this. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more stuff like this, I am really getting on top of being more consistent than I have been. Uh, expect weekly. I say that <laughs> literally every video and then it's like a month later. But expect weekly because I'm 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 finally like creating a schedule. I'm getting on top of it, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one.